Uh, doing things this week. 34. Gosh, I can't believe we're on 34. That is crazy. I've missed a lot, but still. 34. That's crazy. Okay. This is about sickness. So the sickest you've ever been. Um, the, the only one that really comes to mind was... I was like 13. Maybe younger. Anyways... Um, I got the flu, and the flu isn't so bad, but I got the flu so, I got the flu so bad that, um, I was hallucinating, like my fever was really high, and, um, I was crazy, like I didn't realize what was happening, and I kept saying weird things about there being pillows everywhere. <laughs> yes, pillows, how frightening is that? Oh, they're so squishy, ah! So, um, that's the only one I can think of because I've never, thankfully, knock on, knock on Ikea wood, which is, if I don't know if that's real wood, um, I've never been really, really sick with anything. My husband had, um, kidney stones once, and that was, like, the worst thing I'd seen sick-wise, but really nothing. So, I've been lucky. So, I'm gonna have to call my flu hallucinating incident my, uh, sickest Let's see, my go-to remedy. Um, gosh, I gotta think about this one. I, it sounds terrible the way I was about to say it. I like drugs. Big, big fan. Um, so when I start feeling bad, my first thought is, what's in the medicine cabinet? So I'll go in there looking, and if I don't quite find what I need, then what's in the pharmacy? So um, other than that, I think a few people have mentioned tea. I definitely, I like drinking tea anyways, um, in like normal days. So tea always makes me feel better because um, people may not believe in this stuff, but I believe in astrology and I'm a Taurus. So um, my sensitive area is my throat. And I feel like every time I get sick, it always hits my throat the hardest. Sorry, that ringing, that was my dog's collar. He was like scratching at his neck or something. Anyways... So I feel like my throat is always hit the hardest when I whenever I get sick. So the tea is very soothing and nice. And I'll always do this. Rubbing my poor throat while I'm drinking tea. <laughs> so, so definitely drugs and tea. Yep, those are my go-tos. Um, let's see. A sickness that scares you. There's probably a lot. I, I know I know some people are like afraid of germs and stuff like that. And cancer is definitely scary. It doesn't run on my family, thankfully. So I'm not I'm not necessarily worried I'm gonna get it, but I I'm very cautious, so I do make sure that I get my checkups and I do my own self checkups and stuff like that, because you never know. You never know. Um but I guess the only thing that really scares me and worries me is, like, going into anaphylactic shock. I don't know if that counts as a sickness, but I've seen it before, and it's quite frightening. It, it wasn't me. It was someone else, and it was really frightening, and every time I get bit by a bug or something, I'm like, oh, God, please, I'm not prepared. <laughs> I don't want this to happen to me, so... um so I think that's probably something that I, I'm maybe paranoid about. And what's sad is I get bit by bugs all the time. Like, I've got a lot of ants in my yard right now. And we've been moving, so we've been in the yard a lot, walking in and out. And I can't help it, but I love flip-flops, so I'm always wearing flip-flops outside. And my husband thinks I'm crazy, but they're comfy to me. I can wear them all day, any day. And I keep getting bit by ants, and I keep getting worried that one day, one of those bites is going to send me into shock, so... I'm not allergic, I'm just paranoid. So, yeah, that's it. So, 35. Wow, 35. That's what's next. <laughs> all right, that's all I have. I'll keep looking for other videos. Bye.